Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today not only is it snowing, which means we are in Act 5, but also we uh, had a good rest after defeating Diablo so easily in the last episode. And today's goal will be to alter this number and make us uh, grow a pair, I guess. And um, that pair is needed in order to confront Bale and specifically his minions because they aren't too kind. And yeah, I think Eldritch and Schenk will be the optimal place to do just that. Oh, and I'm uh, currently seeing this one and thinking to myself, well, I don't know if it will be getting much better than that to start out with. Uh, as soon as this level ticks over, we will be able to get a pike because then we have enough dexterity in order to wield it and we uh, certainly won't need many eldritch runs for that so i think i'm going to buy this one and mana steel is always nice and uh, then we can get a new helmet as well because this one is is not really up to par anymore ah yes the shadow stinger I still need to keep this one in inventory because it's just so glorious. Or do I? Power Strike? We should try out Power Strike because it's so amazing. Or maybe we just sell this shit and keep this one in there. Huh, <sighs> it was good knowing you. 69.25. Now that's money. Okay, so how are we going to do with the uh, Eldritch and Shank runs? I don't think I'm going to bother you too much uh, and just hold up for a minute once we have some decent finds or something. But leveling should be uh, pretty much constant throughout the levels because we are underleveled and that means that we get uh, less ex... Oh, do we get less experience? Is, it, is the level cut off 10? I think it was 10 or maybe 8 or something. Um, so if you're too low level, then you get less experience. And if you're too high level for the area, then you also get less experience. And uh, I think we might be on the border of getting full experience for the enemies. But they are, of course, a little hard to kill. Uh, we got the waypoint, Frigid Highlands, last time. And Eldritch runs, well, everyone knows them by now. Hello. Mr. Eldritch, I usually just stand here and then Dogger walks off into his death. Dogger! We're not hitting them and that is entirely down to level. And Dogger is dying. Not anymore. Healing him. Like a pro. And he killed someone. He killed the mega boss. Let's see. Do we even get experience for these bastards? What? It's barely moving. What a scam! I think we need more money. And money can be acquired by selling these things. Uh, Maul and Solar Creeper. Yeah, and Splint Mail. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, but now we have to defeat the prime evil that is Mr. Schenk. Mr. Schenk has a big butt. So it's probably big enough for two spears at once. Let's uh, check that one out. Ah, one thing I want to check is 74% chance to hit on Enslaved. Okay, that's good to know. Because that might be going up quite a lot in the next few levels. Alright, so um, this kind of is enough for us to clean out. Um, these standard monsters are somewhat valuable to us right now because we are so underleveled and it's easier to kill them. And they do bring a decent amount of experience still. And that soon will change once we are quicker at killing things, at killing bosses. That will be much better. So um, let's just quit out here and get back in and redo the Mr. Eldridge after selling all this crap. 3,000, 7,300 uh, poison length, this shit, and this was also shit. 
And we don't need that many healing potions and stuff, so I'm just going to sell them. We're going to find plenty anyway. Alright, so next run. What? Durga died? Even though he was on a healing potion. Ah, uh, too much damage there. I don't know. Uh, somehow, sometimes Shank seems to be hitting for a massive amount of damage. He's extra strong as a standard, but uh, I don't hit shit. Oh my god, it's bad. Hey, Shank. How are you doing? Let's see how much damage he does to us. Oh, okay. He hits like a truck, I guess. We found a large charm! They do exist! Amazing! And we found an exceptional item, which is shit. But we're going to take it. <gasps> There's a spear! I think it's Durga's dick hanging out. Uh, six poison damage over three seconds. <laughs> that is super bad. Let's sell it right away. Uh, this is also super bad. That's kind of nice. 5,000 bucks. Wow! Wow! This one is actually pretty good! Let's see how we're doing with that. It's 20 to 55 fire damage, increased attack speed. Let's see how that goes. Does it um, actually give us a damage increase? Um, well, if we are attacking like three times as fast, then maybe, but <laughs> I doubt it. All right, let's try this thing out. Seems to be amazing. Come on, little bastards. Ah. I whack you. No, it certainly doesn't do much damage. Unique bow! Hunter's bow. Not that we need it. But then again, this thing right here could be interesting for Durga because it is a pole arm and it is a, an exceptional item. So let's head back to town by, via quitting out and start the next run. So, what did we get here? Wow, best armor ever. Uh, ghost armor, 15,000. That's nice. That is really nice. Unfortunately, no sockets. We could add them via the add sockets quest. Uh, but then again, nah, it's not really worth it. So, Hunter's Bow is the Wither String. Uh, very nice if you are a skill-based uh, damage dealer. Um, as in... For instance, the Amazon with uh, exploding arrow or something. That is kind of neat. But we don't need it. So, off you go. And this, oh, unfortunately not really that good. Uh, let's see how much more damage Durga would deal. Uh, six more damage. And then drop damage down low. Yeah, I forgot he had a really nice, really, really nice beat him there. So, nope, that one is worse. But we are getting loads of money here. Just look at that, 58,000 in the, in the pockets. Uh, let's see if we can buy... Your yes, Lazuk. Thank you for socketing me. Um, do we have any good pike? No, we don't. <laughs> Military pick. Wow, why is he dropping or why... Are Monsters dropping such good stuff here. Or rather high quality. How much magic find do we have? Well, none is the answer, so that's just a little bit lucky then. Not that this one is of any use, but, uh, well, we can basically throw it away.
Yes, we did a level 24, so now hopefully I will be uh, soon getting a lot more damage output because this is a rather pathetic display at the moment. Split mail, yep, let's take that along. Always brings a little bit of money. Oh, nice. Now that is a lot of money. Uh, fine war scepter of the printers. All right, let's sell that. Another 25,000 down the drain. Um, or soon down the drain if we want to gamble a little bit. And now, finally, let's take a look. We do need the dexterity, don't forget that. Let's put that in first. So now we can have a pike. And now let's do a little comparison. Now, that is spear we are going to put away. But if we shift weapons and we don't use bash, but rather... Leap attack there, and we are using concentrate here. Then we see we are doing... Wow! Okay, pike definitely helps. As you can see here in the leap, that's what I was saying. Oh, and... Whoa, look at that! Oh, oh, oh. Now that is what the penetrator was looking for all his life. Wow. And, yes, uh, like I was saying, the um, physical damage is what is getting multiplied by the high multiplier that is on leap attack. And that is 290% now that we have put that in. And also we can, oh nice, increased walk speed, yes, put one in there. That's what we saved up for. And battle orders, one there. And now we could have... Uh, battle orders, let's see, that is duration 35 seconds, that is 25 seconds, so we need one more in shout, let's put it in there, so we have now 35 seconds, and this one has 40 seconds, but it gets 5 seconds there, so let's put one more in, and now it's equal, now we have 45, 45, gives us a nice little bonus, not too much though, I and mean, maybe it's even a waste to put in more than one there right now if we go into battle orders anyway but for the next level up we will have the option to put in two battle orders as well as leap attack to get above 300 percent bonus damage and uh, that will help us a little bit oh yeah much better damage but i think we need to hoo a little bit Oh yeah, half, halfway. Taking half life off of these. And even hitting a little bit. Oh, that's just random. Has nothing to do with the pike itself. The reach is super nice. <laughs> I'm just not hitting. No, Daga! Ow! Yeah, the attack rating... Usually I wouldn't say it's a problem. Because, like, 75% is still good enough. Not really for normal, but later on at least. And... Yeah, but... Oh! Fear Blade! Nice! Uh, that could be something. Um, yeah... What shall we get rid of? Ah, some potions. Ah, yes, the point I wanted to make before with the attack rating is that like, those 26% we don't hit, they really hurt because it's so fucking slow. So, yeah, let's sell the... Uh, let's see what the mall is. Uh, maybe sells for a little bit. Uh, let's sell both the breastplate and the mall. I want to have plenty of money so that I can gamble. Gamble some really nice weapon. And that was nice. 
Wow, this one is good. This one is super good. What the fuck? This is amazing. Look at that. Faster hit recovery. Very, very important. Especially good for mercenary, although I almost think we need it ourselves. But then again, stealth is super nice too. Uh, and then we have 28 life. Lots of fire resist. Magic damage reduced by one is always good to have, although uh, higher values there are even more appreciated. Um, and two open sockets. And we uh, can easily get a few perfect gems. That is not an issue. So I'm almost thinking that we should use this one because that might be better than our stealth armor. I think it is. What a find! Nice! <laughs> oh yes, and here you can see the effect of being underleveled for the area. There's really nothing you can do in order to hit them any better. This should easily be a 95% if we were at the same level as the enemies, but uh, only 85, even with a combat shrine on. But our damage output is really uh, superb. Let's see. Oh, half damage. Oh, it's... What I don't really like, of course, is that we have such a big range of different damages we can output. Uh, it's not how I want it. We could have a one shot, one kill here, and then another one, just basically nothing. Uh, 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 what was going on there? Dancing a little bit. Boom. Hoo. Wow. Okay, that's starting to make to do a lot of damage on him. Boom. Yep, there we go. That didn't take a lot of hits. They died before I even approached them. That's the power of leap attack. I'm just thinking, what should we put into that armor? Because this is certainly the one we are going to use until the end of the game. Uh, until the end of this let's play, so uh, better make it a good choice here. And I think we do need the resistances, so... Uh, certainly lightning resist, and we do have an Ort rune, And that helps. 30% lightning resist there is massive. And uh, what more could we put in there? Well, I would like... A Ral rune we don't need, because we already have fire resist pretty high. Um, what would be nice would be a full rune. But a full rune requires four ort runes or a lot of luck finding it. So, not really going to happen. Uh, another thing we could add is a perfect ruby. And a perfect ruby would give us a lot of extra life. Which then is amplified once again by our, um, by our battle orders. So that might be something useful. Doga is just ripping through these enemies. Oh, Greaves, neat. And Horned Helmet, uh, maybe that's also pretty good. Field Plate, Bone Shield, uh, well, Bone Shield, not really worth anything, even though it has two sockets, which would be amazing if we uh, were a character using, uh, being a caster or something, using a shield. Um, field Plate, two sockets. Uh, not really useful to us, but sells for some money. And Horned Helmet with nothing on it is completely useless. Bye-bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think... I think we need to invest a little bit more in strength. As those are... Those are really, really good. What the hell? It's some really nice items dropping here. All right, I take those. Somehow I have the feeling that there's one dude here always dropping <laughs> a breastplate. These all seem to be very common here right now. Durga is dishing out so much more damage than we ever could. 
Another fuel plate. We are getting rich. Eleven thousand seven hundred for this beast. I like that. And this one, ooh, twenty thousand. Uh, I take that too. And this pike doesn't cost anything and is much better than ours. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, not much better. The 4% uh, mana steel is actually pretty neat. But, yeah, let's take this one. We even make a... <laughs> we make a good deal here by selling that one. Uh, our old one, because we get... That was a net positive deal. I just don't hit him. That's rather pathetic. Just bunny hopping back and forth. And <laughs> he was like just staring at me. Looking at how the penetrator is jumping at him. Or just posturing. Like poking a stick in the air around him. Oh, gauntlets. That could also be something awesome. Uh, certainly better than ours. I think we're still having some leather gloves or some shit. Also, two socket great helm. Hmm. What do we do with that? It might also be a good thing to keep. Let's identify a few things here. Uh, this one. Uh, nah, not really. And. Ooh. Lightning resist and magic find. But otherwise, a bit weak. Uh, extra gold, we don't need that. And the only useful thing is really is lightning resist on here and 8% better chance to find magic items. Uh, not so good. So now, certainly, well, certainly better than those. And if we need 70 strength anyway to get our new boots, then we might as well have these on. And again the breastplate. There was our breastplate dude again. Maybe not. But he's always in there. I think we have a few too many F runes really. So I'm cleaning up a few. Making an if. And uh, what more could we make? I don't think we need those anymore. So let's just sell that. Uh, we may want to hang on to the plain amethyst, and I'm a bit worried about the rubies. Maybe we should go and scout for some uh, gem shrines in Act 1. That looks like money, at least some money, and uh, maybe something for the Durga. Who knows? Ew, that's kind of neat. Uh, I think Durga would not have problems with dying anymore if he took this one on. And what do we have here? Um, money. We have lots of money there. All right, let's take a look. Uh, 68 to 140. Oh, okay, no, it's actually not better. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is just amazing for his jab with the 11 to 39 cold damage. Very good. Does he still have this crappy mail? No, okay, that was the better one. It's not terrible. But this one is absolutely terrible. We should give him something a little bit more appropriate for Act 5. Twenty-five thousand, yes. Lots of money was correct. That is neat. We do uh, need plenty of more of these so that we can go shopping. By the way, that was probably the most girly thing I've said ever. Oh, 
Ooh, what do we have here? A ring. That's a nice drop and a Grand Scepter. That might be worth a lot of money. Now let's take a quick look what we have found here. Um, Lightning resist, energy, and, well, poison length reduced. Eh, not too good. I don't think it's better than this one because this gives us a lot of attack rating and this doesn't. Only 13. And this also gives us 5% flat bonus to it, which is pretty nice. This one already gives us loads of mana and lightning resist and quite good magic damage reduce. This one is also better. Hmm. And the half freeze duration we already will have on our new boots as soon as we can wear them. So uh, I don't know if we really need this. I don't think we do. Bye bye little ring. It was nice that you dropped by. But now I drop you off at Mara's. <laughs> Not Mara's. Mara's is an item. Mala's. <laughs> Mala's place. Uh, right. Uh, one thing I forgot, uh, by the way, is to assign you skills. Because now we do have our shouts we have to use. And that would be, let's do... F2, F3, yes, I am a noob, you know that by now, and F1, so that I can go F2, F3, and then back to F1 at the start of battle, and then I have everything set up as I usually do. But I think overall on the noob rankings, I'm doing pretty well. I mean, first step is to use any hotkeys whatsoever, and uh, not click on the potions in your inventory to heal up, uh, uh, in your belt, I mean. That, that helps a lot. Uh, then once you use hotkeys, uh, actually assign hotkeys to uh, spells. That might be a good idea. And then, hmm, I think I'm third level noob. Uh, no, fourth level, because uh, I do assign uh, the spells and I know that I'm a noob, so that is uh, another big advantage. And I know how to heal my mercenary in time, and myself. Without dropping potions on the portrait. Wow, why is this one giving so much money? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Why is it so good? Uh, is the 5% attack bonus giving so much extra multiplier to its worth? I have no clue. Alright, so let's try this out. Yes, yes, we feel lots of powerful. Look at our life, it's amazing. 573, that's a... Uh, a uh, pretty big increase. And what is our armor class doing? Well, uh, it's doing really well. Ah, uh, also we had, of course, we had the skill shrine. That does help a lot. Alright, we didn't get very far this uh, episode. It was more of a casual, grindy episode, I guess. I hope that wasn't too boring, but one thing I would like to do before we wrap up is to uh, do a little bit of gambling. Maybe that makes it a bit nicer, because we do love to see good items. And maybe I managed to get Nilefuck all dizzy. Nah, no, he doesn't want to play my game. So uh, maybe he wants to have a spear up his behind. So what are we gambling? Well, we are gambling, uh, let's say, pikes, and I really want a new belt as well. I would like to have a plated belt and pikes. All right, so let's um, get some of these. Ah, uh, circlets would of course be nice too, but then again, I can only really buy uh, 12, so that's probably not a good choice. 
All right, wow. So I've spent five minutes clicking through this, and the only things I was offered were, f were four pikes. Let's check them out. I haven't looked yet. Um, wow, okay, that's amazing. Uh, go away. And, oh, wow, that's amazing. Go away. And, oh, wow, that's amazing. Go away. And, oh, wow, that's amazing. Go away. And we finally got our first plated belt. What I assume is happening here is that plated belts have a uh, gamble or a uh, level requirement-ish thingy of um, or is it called item level. I think it is called item level of what would that be? Uh, we are at 23, so 28. I think it has, and I think you can gamble items that are. Um, five levels lower than you but that is really seldom you get them then and I think that is the case because I've only seen exactly one of them after like five minutes now so let's buy this and hope it's amazing uh, it's not amazing fuck anyway so before I waste more time more of my time and more of your time gambling our money away on shit items uh, I think we're calling it a day here and see how we can further improve the penetrator in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.